to say a quick word about the state of our economy. If you think things have been bad lately, but double-dip recession is very real. Record deficits, near double-digit unemployment. It, it obviously is sort of common sense to think that we're not going to be building as many homes. We are making progress. But the job losses still continue and continue and continue. Yes, but it's not 12 or 13 or 15. In that sense, it works. One in seven Americans living in poverty. That inspiration's dying. I've been a little amused over the last couple of days where people have been having these rallies about taxes. You would think they would be saying thank you. 479,000 new jobless claims in the past week. Are really struggling. It's official. We are in a recession. There isn't any doubt we're moving in the right direction. The world growth in the future runner can't depend on the United States as much as it did in the past. This was supposed to be the summer of recovery. It just looks like he, he's not involved. Barack Obama's been so invisible. He's been on we, vacation. Is he, what yeah. is he going to actually do something? Hey, hold on a sec. Two days of media events. Layoffs in August falling to a 10-year low. Three days of fundraising. The numbers are, are staggering. Four commemorations. The possibility of a double dip recession. We will not Days rest. of vacation. Foreclosures and homes being auctioned and home prices continuing to fall. Six sports events and seven days of golf. Huge amount of damage to the economy. First family planning a vacation for the fifth time since July. Fain on $75,000 a day. You can't miss it. A fantastic day. President Obama has just redecorated the Oval Speaker Office. Speaker Pelosi is reportedly asking for a much bigger jet. With people losing their homes and people losing their jobs, this is what we're going to have Congress talk about today? I haven't got enough money to feed my family. Make no mistake, we are headed in the right direction. This is a White House and a president that's frankly anti-business. Recognize that the economic outlook remains unusually uncertain. Your employer would see premiums fall by as much as 3,000%, which means they could give you a raise. This is paid for and will not add a dime to the deficit. It'll reduce the deficit. That's going to increase our costs. We knew that. We didn't think that we were going to cover 30 million people for free. We're very proud of what we've done. Who is in charge? Who's in charge here? We are mortgaging the future of our children and grandchildren at record rates, and that is not only an issue of fiscal irresponsibility. I say we will vote. It's an issue of immorality. Is the American dream dead? I don't want to give the keys back. I have done a terrific job.